Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Today we're talking about consent. We talk about it a lot on this channel, but somebody had dug up an old video of eight passengers, Ruby asking her kids what they thought about being on the internet, what their kids said. It's gonna be kind of eye-opening. And there's another TikToker, someone sent me this video of this young gentleman telling his mom to turn off the camera. It's insane that she keeps doing it. It's crazy that these people don't give a shit about their kids. And informed consent is one of the major problems that these people have. They can't overcome the argument. So let's talk about it. If you're new to the Dad Challenge Podcast, one of the major arguments I use on this channel against the exploitation of children on YouTube, giving away their privacy and everything else, is the idea of informed consent. And that a psychologist on a long time ago named Dr. Kirk Honda, who is the most amazing, awesome guy ever. And I asked him outright, can kids consent? And this is what he said. No, uh, it's obvious that they cannot consent. So kids who are on these channels, you have to know they cannot give informed consent. Now, it's not a medical informed consent, but it's, I'm using this term as the idea these kids cannot understand the outcome of that decision. Now, that is to say that any parent who says they ask their kids for their consent to be on camera, which we know is like maybe 1%, okay? Even if they did, even if they all did, it doesn't matter. Now, um, a lot of family vloggers who get scrutinized for this will come out with a video and say, I asked my, there's one who said her one-year-old, she asks her one-year-old for consent. Okay, you cannot get consent for this. So even asking for it, it doesn't matter. Now that's one of the major hurdles that these family vloggers and exploiters have to overcome in order to justify what they do. And so they'll say it and they'll go to bed and they'll sleep at night thinking, yeah, I got my kids consent. And even the ones that say they do are lying about it because we know that Jess fam, we had Janelle on, one of her ex-best friends who basically lived there, was in their lives so much that she never ever asked her kids once if for consent to be on videos. Not like it would matter anyway. That argument is something I have stood on time and time again on this channel, okay? Also the argument that you're giving away your kids' privacy, you're giving away your kids' medical histories, you're giving away like super embarrassing private events that shouldn't be on the internet for everybody to see. And even though parents would say, well, I wouldn't have cared if my parent, it was so. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you would have cared or cared not of. What matters is that what they are going to have to overcome when they're older. One of the things that we are missing now, and I am of the generation that the internet came out when I was in grade nine. 14, I think 15, something like that. And so I, half my life was not on the internet. The other half of my life was on the internet. And even I, to a degree, had, you know, lived my life online and my space, ICQ and all that kind of stuff and have a huge digital footprint. A lot of these kids literally, again, I've said this many times, are birthed from their mother's canals on YouTube. Not one moment of their lives that should be private is private. And I'm talking about all the major events, birth, right? Then you got diapers, potty training, eating, walking, hospitals, injuries. Some people document their kids' deaths. Some people document their kids' sicknesses and cancers. It gets really hard and nuanced when the parents who are documenting that type of stuff, you know, have kids that die and stuff like, cause you don't really wanna come, cause you don't really wanna come at them and say you're doing it wrong. But there are a lot of parents who do a lot of crazy things on this, on this platform. And for some reason it's really widely accepted, but, the tides are turning. There's a TikToker named Nurse Fee, and it's N-U-R-S-E F Triple E. Okay, she has 72,000 subscribers on TikTok. She's a licensed practical nurse, which is crazy to me that people who work in the medical field, and she, her son has autism, so she's a licensed practical nurse, owner of JSA Labs, nurse entrepreneur. Now her son, like Abby from Fathering Autism, has autism, and he's really, really unique, cool little dude, and really smart. But she, if you look through her TikTok, it's literally mostly her son. Some of her and then a lot of her son, okay? And she's, it's not raising awareness, it's just straight up recording this guy playing video games on his Oculus. He's just kind of hanging out, right? But this video was sent to me and it really, really hit me because watch this guy. I I'm gonna blur him just because he doesn't wanna be on the internet. Okay, and he's saying it here, so that's where I will blur this. He is really, really cool, listen to this. So, and my, I'm in trouble. He called his aunt, so he's calling his, his aunt on the phone, and he's telling her, listen. Mom, 
Mommy, stop it. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to Aunt Sam, Mommy. Well, what you telling Aunt Sam? What, what you keep doing? What do I keep doing? You keep recording me. Honestly, this kid is really cute, too. He's just really, really cool. I don't know. I just my heart swelled when I saw this guy. He, he, he seems he's really he seems really joyous and happy, but he's calling his aunt to tell her mom keeps recording me. And I want her to stop. I'm just creating memories, buddy. There it is. I'm just creating memories. A digital photo album. This argument needs to absolutely stop. If you say this from this point forward, shame on you for your dumb, dumb argument. You can digitally scrapbook your entire family, every moment, every burp, every zit, everything. You can do it without posting it to the public. Magic. I mean, you already got memories. Well, we need See that? You already got memories. This kid is smart. More memories. We have more memories. I'm talking she said, the aunt said get out his room. You're talking to your aunt Simp. So basically you're calling your aunt Simp to tell on me. Yep. Mm hmm Oh. Well what you doing? Just straight up honesty from I love this guy. And that Simp will beat her ass. <laughs> the aunt said I will beat her ass. <laughs> Stop and, cussing. And when I was eating my food, she kept recording me. Hear what he said? When I'm eating my food, she kept recording me. This kid is literally on video. This mo and this mom isn't eating. Good for her for posting it. Cause good. We need to see this. This kid now literally has evidence by the mom's own recording. He does not want to be recorded anymore. You already recorded me. She, she records me eating my food. She records me doing this. I don't want it to stop. And she's just laughing. She thinks it's funny. That's crazy. I don't know why she's going to do it. She's being me. I mean, she, she records me whatever I'm doing. I don't like it. I don't want that. This kid isn't laughing. This isn't a joke, everybody. He doesn't want it. Well, tell her to please stop recording. She said stop. He said, tell her to stop. Please stop recording. And I, when I went to... to and when I went to the bathroom to go wipe my nose, she recorded me. When I went to the bathroom to go wipe my nose, she recorded me. This... Really, I don't think this kid understands the absolute magnitude of what he's saying right now, and that it's being recorded on the internet. This is this is a this is a milestone. He, it, it's crazy because he's saying she records me in the bathroom, she records me eating, she records me. I don't want her to do it anymore, and she's sitting here, oh, and she's just laughing. I did not. I was only pretending I was recording. He was recording me. Huh? Doesn't matter if you're pretending to record him. He thinks you are recording him. I only pretended to record you. Huh? And when I did it again, she recorded me again. I feel so sad for this kid because his only recourse here is to call his aunt, to tell his aunt, to tell his mom to stop recording him. And she's here laughing about it. And by the way, right here it says comments aren't available because you're not mutual friends. She only allows her mutual friends to comment on the videos, but she has 75,000 subscribers. Stop recording him. Stop recording him, she says. Mom, turn that record button on. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can't get more clear. She's laughing about it. She thinks this is funny. He's not joking. Mom, turn that record button off. Right at this moment, this mom should have been like, you're right. I've learned. I'm going to take everything off. He doesn't want it. And then you have evidence of him not wanting it. <sighs> Good night. Bye, press that button. <laughs> Turn the light off. Turn that record button off. So he turned. He she said turn the light off so she can't see. He's like, oh, I got it. Turns the light off and she keeps needs to record. Shut your door so she can't see. Shut the door on her. I'm your mama. I pay the bills around here. You can't shut me out. There it is, guys. This I, this video is. is this is it. This is all you guys need to see. You can't shut the door. Like they'll laugh about it and joke about it, but eventually there's going to be a pushing back point from these parents. Like a lot of parents are like, well, if the kids don't want to be on, they don't have to be on. Do you think that lasts? You know, what if a kid perpetually says they don't want to be on? The parent's going to have to eventually say, well, well, okay, I pay the bills. I'm the parent. You're eventually going to have to do this. Doherty doesn't does this. She bribes her children to be on. You can see in the videos most of those kids, not most, maybe, some of those kids absolutely don't want to be on camera, okay? But she has to show everybody that she's got 12 kids or whatever, right? She has to show it. 
So what you're seeing here right now, that's coercion. No, I pay the bills. You cannot shut the door on me. But he still should get the right to privacy, no? If your kid says they don't want to be on and you still film them, you're an asshole. Good night. Now turn it off. I love you. I love you too. Next. And she's just being a stubborn bastard. All she is. She's just being stubborn. On my terms, I'll turn it off. Night, I'll go to bed. Like, she just... Thanks for recording that, though. Now, this kid has absolute evidence and proof that you put on the internet that he doesn't want to be there, and you're doing that against his will. When he turns 18, I hope he sues the shit out of you. That led me to another video that um, someone had found that eight passengers did this a long time ago. These kids are really, really young. And she's asking them, kids reveal the truth about vlogging. So let's go through it. It's only a nine minute video, so let's go through it. Just logo. <laughs> Look, I'll never get over the eight passengers logo. Never. I'll never get over the fact that these people made millions of dollars and that's their logo. Deep. This is the same family that puts milk on cake, puts yogurt. Oh, they're pancakes. Okay, I thought they were English muffins. So, uh, so but still weird though. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Who puts yogurt on pancakes? Just saying. It's a little weird. I thought they were English muffins. See, peanut butter. This girl knows what she's doing. That's what you put on pancakes. Sure, but yogurt. Mormons. Our grocery store has had a sale on. Food store. Ruby, did you stick your finger in an electric socket or something? Did you get lost in the woods? Look like when there's like a zombie apocalypse movie, like this is what happens. Like the, this is like a week after the apocalypse happens, and it's like they come in camera, like oh, the apocalypse happened. That's what she looks like. Items in Utah, it's a really, really big deal. I think for a couple of reasons. One, we have really big families, and so it's cheaper to buy in bulk, especially when it goes on sale. And second, it's just part of our culture to be prepared. Yeah, Mormons are preppers, by the way, which is the only thing I like about Mormons because I am I love prepping. I'm starting to learn about it. Prepping is important. I'm not going to make fun of Mormons for prepping. Everybody should be prepping. Dad advice, TM. Um, emergency preparedness. Go through tons of oatmeal, especially in the winter, and so I stocked up on these because they were like... A dollar ninety nine on sugar and a whole bunch of honey. I make wheat bread. Wheat? Really? You make wheat bread? That's awesome that you make wheat bread. Homemade wheat bread in the winter, and so I got a whole bunch of honey. You want to put what on right now? My horn. Your your what? My horn. Oh, your horn. <laughs> okay. okay. What do you think he said? Whore? Why would he say that? And that's what you were recording, thinking that he said. So, nice face. <laughs> yes. That's living in distortion, Ruby. Doesn't follow your principles at all. You can't just put that on camera thinking what he, you think he thought he said. That we all thought that too. That's distortion. Let's do that. We bought it yesterday and then we never put it on. Okay, so today we need to put a horn. His, <laughs> See? His horn on his bike. <laughs> Well, you have your power of your eyelashes. The awkward moment when I turn on the camera. <laughs> right when your kids are eating. Yeah. <laughs> when you turn the camera on three seconds too late. Oh, you know what? I have to tell you something today. Dur Plates. During preschool or during um, homeschool, I was showing the kids some YouTube videos on Saturn and the suggested video popped up of Eve crying in the department store. Who's crushing water bottles? And Eve pointed to it and she's like, that's me, that's me. How you guys react, like how do you guys feel, honestly, about being- I'm glad she asked. Or on social media. I don't care. Oh, it's great, it's amazing. Yeah, Sherry, this is funny because um, Sherry says, I don't care, it's great, yeah. And then Sherry did a video like, Later, like when she's finished school 18, like it's just not great. It's terrible, actually. So she had a major shift. And again, all this goes to show is that informed consent is one of the most important things because right there, she's like, it's fine. So even these parents who do think they're their kids, like, we love it. It's great. The kids love it. But when they turn 18, like Sherry did in the video that she did, they don't love it. Right? And that's why informed consent is important. They cannot give informed consent because they don't know when they're 18, they're going to hate it. <laughs> 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 this is 
This little one's not answering, which is quite telling. What the heck? So, Sherry, you think it's great? Yeah. Is it fun? Mm -hmm. I don't want to put the words in your mouth. No, it is. But you enjoy it? Okay. Yeah, she's convincing. Abby, you think it's... Embarrassing. <laughs> and I, I know everybody's going to laugh. <laughs> it's embarrassing. Yes. That is what she's saying. Which, again, when, when a kid says, what do you feel about being on the internet? She says, it's embarrassing. That's, I don't want to be on the internet. That's what that answer is. There's no positive, it's embarrassing, but I'm glad I'm on there. No, no. It's embarrassing, I wish I wasn't. That's what's going on here. <laughs> is the one wearing clothes from? <laughs> is it because well, you wear her own food? food? Is it embarrassing because you wear food on your head? <laughs> and everyone sees this it. This kid doesn't even want to talk to her. She's like, can I finish my damn, which is a delicious looking sandwich, by the way. I don't see any mayonnaise, but it's, it's a sandwich. <laughs> Julie, I wanted to get your thoughts on how you feel about being on the internet. This family eats a lot of lettuce. Or in social media. <laughs> Social she doesn't even know what social media means, which means his parents have never talked to their children about what's going on. They don't even know what it is. Social media is like Facebook, Instagram, no, no. that kind of thing. They make killer sandwiches, not gonna lie. These sandwiches look dope! You don't mind? She doesn't uh -huh. mind, okay. Do you think it's fun? Or do you think it's not fun? A little of both. So she just said it's not fun and it's fun. So again, I don't know what else to tell you guys. That's it. That's all you need to hear. If it's not fun for your kids, it, it, it's not even about fun or not. It's literally about, do you think it's appropriate? Do you know that in the future, your whole world is going to be shared with everybody. Your, the people you haven't even met yet, the relationships you're going to have. Boyfriends, husbands, girlfriends, whatever. They're going to know everything about you. Do you understand what that means? No, they don't understand. And they can't. I feel the same way. I think it's a little of both. Sometimes it's fun. Sometimes it's not fun. That's just started. For me, though, I would say it's like 90% fun and 10%. Nah, this is look at this. this is their old house. This is before shit hit the fan for family vloggers, by the way. I would like to hear her what she says now about what this is because she got called out for all of her bad parenting, and all that bad parenting she got called out for was after this video, by the way, like way after this when they moved into their awesome, sweet ass house. Okay, when the money's rolling in. So this might have been really early when they weren't making a ton of money, but they made a ton of money. Not so fun. I am interviewing all of our kids to find out how they feel about being on the internet. Your light is garbage. And social media. Do you have any thoughts on this matter? <laughs> I think it's really fun just to put my life out there. Uh huh. And sometimes I don't feel like filming. Like I just mm -hmm. don't feel like doing it. But sometimes it's really exciting. I think that's how most of us feel. Okay. This kid already looks like he's broken. Remember, this is the kid, Chad, who, for whatever reason, was sent to live in the wilderness for eight months, sleep on a piece of cardboard under a tarp. We don't know why. We still have no idea why she did it. Okay, then gets back from living in the wilderness for eight months, then pranks his little brother, which was a funny prank, by the way, which is whatever, then gets grounded for eight more months where he gets to sleep on a beanbag chair in the basement and the bathroom in the basement is his has no door. Okay. These kids, she's asking them. I would have loved to see this video filmed after they all were on the internet for like five years. I think everyone, but Abby, which is totally fine. <laughs> oh, Abby doesn't want to, but that's okay. Abby's just a loser. Pretty sure Abby's the one that she has called out for, that she is like literally put on camera, leg shaving, talking about her acne or periods, puberty, everything. That's okay. She's so. kind of a nervous girl. She's a nervous girl and they're all like, that's okay, you're just, but listen to this conversation, it's okay, she's nervous, she, but you shouldn't be disregarding the fact that she doesn't want to be on camera. If she doesn't want to be, you should honor her wishes and you never did. In fact, she went completely against Daddy's wishes because over the life of this channel, exposed to all of her private moments and acne and it's just unbelievable now that I'm looking at this video. She's the one they don't, and they're all just like, oh, who cares, she's just shy. So then don't put her on! Do you think so? She's nervous. She's such a sweetheart. And if she doesn't want to be in the videos, that's fine, that's why it's 
Okay. Sometimes she's not in it. So that's, she doesn't want to be in the videos. And she said that, and now she's repeating that. And I want to show you, Abby's ninth birthday actually is one of their top five videos, 7.6 million views. Abby's already in the top 10 for the most watched videos on this channel, by the way. That's just two that I'm looking. But I wanna show you other things like uh, acne. Abby's acne struggle is real. One million views three years ago. Summer acne facial, okay, three years ago. Acne facial for school. Acne facial with Abby. My full skincare routine for acne. And she's. this is a sponsored video, everybody, that she's forcing her daughter to be in. And Abby, oh, and Ruby's like, don't live in distortion. You just admitted on camera. And she did too. She doesn't want to be on there. And I'm going through just at trying our new acne medicine. Drugstore acne treatment tested. Mom finally said yes to Accutane. Three month Accutane. Abby's first zit. Starting Accutane. Day one. My skin is finally starting to clear up. Happy birthday, Abby. Happy 12th birthday, Abby. Tennis for Abby. I didn't type in Abby. I typed in acne, by the way. I don't need to show you more, right? I'm just want to, just want to show you that. So they just admitted on camera. Abby just admitted on camera. Everybody say it on camera. Abby doesn't want to be here. And then look what they did to her. Officially hit puberty. Wow. Imagine your parents put that video in when you officially hit puberty. Like, why is there going to be an announcement made about it? As much as because she just, she just doesn't want to. But if you... You'll let me know when you are sick of it. I'm pretty sure that these kids just got so sick of this as they got older. That's why the eight passenger doesn't vlog anymore. Because more than half the kids are like, I'm done with this shit. And Ruby wanted to go off and become a parenting guru, which is the... <laughs> okay, Ruby, we don't like living in distortion shit, weirdo. Okay. <laughs> then we're going to have for dessert some scones with honey butter. Ew. Make a good dessert. Weirdos. Scones in Utah are not what scones are in the rest of the world. They are not baked um, bread goods. That's what really are they? Good. Those are good too. Chocolate chip scones. We need to make those. I remember you made them. Mm -hmm. Speaking of good, look how beautiful Sherry looks in her new workout outfit. You look wonderful. Ew. Full, and I'm proud of you for going and getting fit. You don't look like you need to be fit, but you always feel better when you exercise, right? So that's a good thing. Uh, put that, she put that on camera, man. Oh my God. Oh my God, Ruby. You're the most distorted of them all. Uh, scones in Utah is fried dough. Oh, So we're gonna okay. take dough and I cut off a little piece. Yeah, yeah. So it's like an elephant ear or a beaver tail like we call them in Canada. Like this. Yeah. And you shape it kind of like in a, a bowl shape. Uh huh. And then you put it in hot oil. And okay. I don't know if my. That's not a scone, okay? Call it something else. Call it a Mormon cake. I don't know. Don't call it a scone, though, because that's pretty sure the UK would, would in, like invade if, you, if, we, if they took that. Like in uh, five seconds. <laughs> it's really fun. I like it. Yeah, Mormon Mr. Clean doesn't think this is fun. I don't know. He's like, yeah, I love it. It's totally, I don't like it. Because I interact with a lot of people. But I still keep a lot of my privacy. Oh, you get to keep your privacy, right? But not your other, not your kids, though. That's another thing that really, really gets my goat. Is all these kids get all that shit put on the internet, and often the parents rarely put their shit on the internet, right? They won't. You get all these people who just like give you everything about their kids, and then the, the, when it comes time to like face the music about something, they're like, I don't owe you an explanation. I don't want anything. Like you dirty rats. Right? You just dirty disgustoids. Yeah, it is fun. Cool. Okay, everyone, say goodnight. Yeah, then you just put shit on the, the thing. The Mormon cakes. Call them the Outer Darkness Delights. Delicious. TK Smoothie Strudel. Or TK Strudel. Latter-day Saint Delight. Elder Eclair. A Baptism Baklava. Secret Handshake Macaroons. i running out of shit, so. Anyway. That's what you have to say for yourself, Ruby. Again, I don't, they have so much on the internet. A lot of these people have so much on the internet that if you actually took time to dig through all their old stuff, you'd find so much more than this. There's so much out there of these people that have, they've said things online and everything is kind of shifted. And when it was cool to be a family vlogger and everything else, and it was the height of it all. They probably said so much shit. So I'm glad this person found it for me. And I really appreciate you. Everybody take a deep breath. Pastries are delicious but not those. You're weird.
I hope that you're doing amazing and that you're having a great week. Kids are back to school soon for a lot of us. Some are already back to school, so I hope you're partying or, you know, having some me you and having some you time and all the things that you need. Self-care is important. Don't forget how amazing you are and incredibly damn valuable. And I will see you. <laughs>